hi if you if you're watching this you must have seen the Adalo new update it is super good it is this particular update it's making Adalo one of the most useful tool in the no code industry it is super awesome it is super nice and you must have gotten a mail like this telling you that uh, Adalo 2.0 it's life so the point is this it is not just in a a revamp of the old Adalo platform is a completely different thing. It enables you to do things that are beyond the previous, you know, Adalo legacy build. So right here, you're doing things modern Flexbox. The reason why it's saying modern Flexbox because it's easier than using Flexbox. I'm going to show you in a few minutes, but I'll introduce it to you, and you know, we begin to explore as we go. Now you can create screens that are very, very responsive. You know, I, I use all the local tools myself, and I see sometimes how difficult it is to create very responsive screens. But here, you can actually create responsive screens at a click of a button. Super, super responsive. You have new component placement. You have, you know, freeform builder that that can enable you to just build almost anything. Almost anything you want to do with Adalo. And and talking about this, when you combine this Adalo new future, combine it with Zeno for your backend or Superbase, you combine it with Zapier, and you know you just combine you just combine it with payment, it becomes very flexible and makes Adalo one of the best no code tool that you can ever use in the industry. I think that's why Adalo is calling it Adalo 2.0 because it's not just an update, it is freaking good. Uh, so it's pretty similar when you're trying to create when you're trying to create um, a new app, you simply just go right there and just uh, use the app create um, wizard. And then here you're saying you want to create a responsive application. And if you're building for desktop, you can go ahead and do this. So Adalo has been has been termed as that tool that you really don't use to build desktop application because of the you know because of the interface. Like it was mainly mobile friendly. So if you want to build mobile applications, yes, you use um Adalo, but if you want to use build desktop application, there's no point trying to use Adalo because of you know it's just all over the place. But now with this new responsive design, you could easily build desktop application and mobile application with Adalo. But but the wizard will enable you to split it and ask you, hey, do you want to build desktop first or do you want to build um, mobile first? So you can just click any of those and then you can attach your your database if you want to share database with an existing application or if you want to use Zeno you can actually um, you know you can actually do so well this is the thing for me <clears throat> this is the thing for me previously it was it was a whole lot difficult for you to update your Dalo application yeah and this is another thing that I like it's difficult for you to update your Dalo application and keep track with uh, you know version control and uh, innovation control and the rest but now it's it's a whole lot better because now you can easily you can easily uh, um, you can easily publish your application on the go I'm not sure if uh, uh, this particular plan that I'm at can actually do it but with the new Adalo feature you can actually make edits without your end users knowing it wasn't like so. So I dialed it before. When you're trying to make changes, you can't really make, you can't really save, and then or probably make changes so that your users get to see it later. You make changes real time, which was crazy. It was it was it wasn't really good for business, because you have to be very sure that you're making the right changes so you don't destroy your application. But right here in the new application, you are able to make changes, not publish those changes make those changes without publishing those changes then when you're done and you're okay and you're satisfied with whatever you're doing you can then go ahead and publish those changes so that's awesome right and then you have all these tools that can enable you to switch from mobile desktop you know tablet i think the one that you're going to be using the most mostly is going to be the tablet the mobile and desktop view because use those who use tablet uh, not very they're not very you know they're not a lot and then also you have this other area 
if you click here you have okay yeah you have um, the same navigation you know you have navigation which I love so much this side navigation is awesome so if you put it here you can see you already have a side navigation which is super cool especially if you're building desktop application and the good thing here about using all these applications is that you can make them disappear yeah <laughs> you can make them disappear that's the awesome thing here now you're not just using some sort of conditional visibility yeah that's what you're using behind the hood but before now you really have to set it you really have to set this conditional visibility before now but yeah when you click here you can just go to your layout and you can say hey I don't want this thing to show on mobile you know I don't want I, I want it to I want you to hide this on mobile I don't want it to show I don't want it to show on mobile I don't want it to show on uh, um, I don't want it to show on mobile. I don't want it to show on desk on, on tablet. I just want it to show only on you know on desktop. Do you understand, right? So you can see here, it's not showing. It's not going to show on mobile. I think so. If we take it like, you can see if we go mobile, it's not showing anymore. But if we go back to desktop, it shows. You can see, right? So that's one awesome thing that we're seeing in this Adalo 2.0 that you can actually with the same screen. Say for example, we're putting, <clears throat> we're doing stuff here, and this is my image. This is my image, and <clears throat> with this same screen, I'm gonna take this away. Just delete this. With this same screen, we can, we can, we can, we can determine if this, if we want this particular, this particular image to show on desktop, mobile. So you can see that every, every one single component has visible on desktop mobile tablet and it you can ask it hey do you want to stick me when you're scrolling like when the user keeps scrolling they're scrolling like this do you want to make it sticky or do you want to screw at the same time and when resizing do you want to stay fixed or you want to scale with the screen so if i say stay fixed yeah stay fixed when you're resizing so that means it's going to be as big as the desktop so if I go to tablet, it's going to be this big. Mobile is going to be this small. But if I take it back, if I take it back, click here, I say scales with the screen. Watch what's going to happen. Desktop smaller, smaller. So these are some, you know, some very, very awesome insights with, um, these are some very, very awesome insights with, uh, um, um, flood of flow and this is something that we're going to be covering in a few you know in a few in a few days from now and i'm going to be releasing a whole lot of tutorial on the new adali responsive engine and i am so so awesome i am so um excited about it and um i know i haven't shown the tutorial for a while but i'm gonna i'm gonna start releasing stuff on Adalo and I'm pretty sure you're going to like it and for those persons who are looking forward to getting a very very deep dive on Adalo I, I'm, I'm creating something cool yeah I'm gonna give you updates as we go I'm creating something really awesome it's gonna be a five hour video pretty long yeah the first video the first set of video is gonna be five hours it's called the Adalo Mastery and um you want to you want to join you know you want to get access to it on time so you want to join because it's going to show you how to build almost any type of application with with a dialogue uh yeah you're not paying anything yet because, but it's going to be likelihood the early bird is going to start from 49 us dollars so if you want to get uh updates when the early bird starts just pump in your emails right here and i'll do well to send you an invite definitely so some of the things that we're going to cover in that course we're going to cover the ui interface we're going to cover collections especially with zeno and superbase edtable we're going to cover all of those and uh we're going to cover all of those and we're going to cover third party application like zapier like zapier uh, and the, and the rest we're going to cover automations we're going to cover ui design responsive design you know we're going to cover all of these things that's awesome, right? All of these things, we're going to cover every one of these things. And we're going to cover AI design. You know, uh, uh, most of the time, I always split my tutorial into four. There is design. There is beginner's guide. There is database. There is integrations. 
uh, yeah, those are how, th those are the four parts that I that I uh, split my tutorials on, and then I give very very definite, uh, um, very very definite examples of all those applications. So if you're interested, feel free to click on the link below, and just you know sign in, and we'll keep going with our Dalo experience and i can't wait to share the course with you so thank you very much for watching this is just an update not some sort of uh tutorial i'm super excited about what adalo is launching and i thought that you should get on it and you know begin to explore yourself thank you very much for watching if you've not hit that subscribe button please feel free to do so um so you can always get updates when i launch a new video thank you very much for watching again